so scientific genius people how are you we would be continuing our discussion on the lecture series of interference and today we'll be discussing about the derivation of equation of path difference and what is path difference right so <clears throat> here i have a situation in which there are two friends so one over here this is a and this person is b a and b both are supposed to reach this finish line right okay same speed different speed we don't matter so this person is going to reach here and he is going to travel distance r1 and this person is going to travel in a straight line distance r2 so from here we can say that a this is a perpendicular line from here a is traveling this much distance shorter compared to b or b is traveling this much distance larger than a right and if you look at this one this part is r1 and this whole part is r2 so this is r2 minus r1 which is called the path difference so path difference is r2 minus r1 over here similar situation we have person a person b now they are traveling like this so person a is traveling a distance of r1 and finally reaching point p person b reaching point p by traveling a distance r2 so again i need to apply the same fundamentals i am going to drop a perpendicular line from a to b so this is 90 degree and this distance is called the path difference now if these two points are extremely close to one another then i can make an assumption that this is equal to r2 minus r1 but if these two are separate then we need to calculate the angles and then apply the trigonometric formulas over here otherwise if these two are very very small these two are very very close then this distance is directly the subtraction of uh, r2 and r1 so let us now go back to our initial situation this is our main experiment s1 s2 r2 slits and suppose this is point p on the screen right which is at a distance say y above the center of the screen now the waves from s1 will travel at p and the light waves from s2 will travel at p and they both will travel different distances finally reaching at point p this distance is r1 and this distance is r2 so the light waves coming out from s1 and s2 are traveling unequal distances so again what am i going to do over here is from this center s1 s2 this distance is d we know that the midpoint of s1 and s2 i'm going to connect it to point p like this now i'm calling this angle to be theta correct okay suppose at point p there is some fringe which is produced due to the uh, superposition of light waves coming from s1 and s2 so it may be dark fringe it may be bright fringe we don't care about that right now we know this distance is capital d now i am going to find the path difference now we know that this distance is in millimeters so these two points are actually very very near so i can write down path difference delta x to be r2 minus r1 but i am going to drop a perpendicular line like this as discussed earlier so if this is theta this whole angle is 90 so this is 90 minus theta this is 90 so this angle is theta right so if this angle is theta this is d this is d sin theta so this is theta this is 90 minus theta as this smaller triangle has this as 90 degree almost 90 degree so this is 
so this whole angle is 90 this is theta so this is 90 minus theta 90 so this angle theta so this is d from this triangle this is theta so this is d sine theta so i know that this path difference is now d sine theta and i'm assuming the angle to be very very small i would like to make a point to my viewers that this theta angle is called angular position of the fringe which fringe which is present over here so if i say that this is third bright fringe then its angular position is theta which is the angle measured from the horizontal till this point p right okay this is angular position now what am i going to do triangle p this say p o and x so triangle p x o from here tan theta tan theta from this triangle is equal to perpendicular upon base so tan theta is y by d now this angle theta is assumed to be very small which means sin theta and tan theta are approximately equal to theta in radians right so instead of this tan theta i can also choose to write down sin theta also so i know what is path difference that is r2 minus r1 which is equal to d now instead of sin theta i am going to plug in the value of tan theta because angle is very small y by capital d so i am getting a new expression for a path difference the first expression is d sin theta another expression is dy by capital D. So the fringe which is over here for that fringe the path difference is y d by d or it is also equal to d sin theta. Now let us actually go one step higher. Now we know that intensity equation i net is equal to 4i cos square delta phi by 2 we know that and delta phi is the phase difference between these two waves correct so this is the equation of the intensity at point p on the screen now if this value is say plus 1 which is maximum value then i would get intensity i net as 4i but if this value is 0 which is the minimum value of cos square function then the i net would be equal to 0. So this is maximum intensity this is minimum intensity that we already discussed right. Now this is the cos function graph. So cos theta graph goes like this but cos square theta part this part will go up because in square the maximum value of plus 1 remains plus 1 0 remains 0 <clears throat> minus 1 also becomes plus 1 so the cos square function graph is never going to be down like this correct okay now let us come back to our main equation of intensity so at what points the cos square theta would be plus 1 so cos square function would be plus 1 at 0 then pi then 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi and so on because this is 0 then pi 2 pi 3 pi so i can say that for all angle theta equal to equal to n pi if n is 0 1 2 i will get cos square function as always maximum plus 1 in the same way if i want to make the intensity maximum this angle should be equal to n pi correct so i max is the condition for constructive interference so bright fringes and for bright fringes this cos square i net is 4i and cos square delta phi by 2 is 1 which means delta phi by 2 should be equal to n pi just now discussed so this delta phi goes over here so delta phi is equal to 2n pi right now 
this is phase difference and we already know that phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference that is r2 minus r1 we have already derived this equation now this is equal to 2 n pi right so instead of this i am substituting this one now 2 pi 2 pi getting cancelled so r2 minus r1 r2 minus r1 is equal to n lambda this is the condition for path difference for bright fringes or constructive interference so i may highlight this one what we are doing over here this is for bright fringes or constructive interference right now for destructive interference or for minimum intensity let us do the calculation so for minimum intensity that is i net to be zero or when i net is actually zero we also call this as destructive interference so the intensity equation i net is equal to 4i cos square delta phi by 2 and if this cos square function becomes 0 then I will get the i net 0 so let us look at the cos square graph again it is 0 at pi by 2 3 pi by 2 then it would be 5 pi by 2 7 pi by 2 so which means that if I keep theta this angle theta to be the function of pi by 2 but an odd function so like 2 n minus 1 pi by 2 so if I substitute n is equal to 1 I will get the first value so n starts from 1 2 3 I cannot use n is equal to 0 because n is equal to 0 is always reserved for central bright fringe so I'll have to start from n is equal to 1 here and here first bright and first dark second bright second bar second dark but n is equal to 0 is always reserved for central bright fringe that's why I'm not writing 2n plus 1 and making n is equal to 0 right okay so here at this angle the cos square function will always be 0 so this is what I am going to use in my equation over here so cos square delta phi by 2 value is 0 which means delta phi by 2 has to be 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 pi by 2 so this 2 2 gets cancelled and this is r2 minus r1 times 2 pi by lambda because this is the uh, relationship between phase difference and path difference that is equal to 2n minus 1 pi correct so this pi pi gets cancelled so r2 minus r1 is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 this is another equation and this is the equation for path difference delta x path difference for dark fringes so how many equations of uh, the path difference we have learned the delta x path difference that is equal to r2 minus r1 then we also derived it is equal to d sin theta which is equal to the where theta is the angular position and that is also equal to y d by d this is the distance between screen and slit this is the distance between two slit and now this can be equal to n lambda or 2n minus 1 lambda by 2. So if you are being given a question in which you are talking about the question talks about dark fringe then this this and this fragment and if you are talking about bright fringes then you can equate this this and this one. So out of these two you will have to select one then depending upon the values of the question you may compare these two or these two or these two that depends upon the question. So hopefully guys you have enjoyed the explanation please do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and thank you for watching the video.